Hey y'all, Sai here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make an intarsia. Ah, people have asked me to do one, and so I'm going to. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of different little videos of the process. The first step is picking out an intarsia pattern. When I first started out, I bought a couple books. I bought one from Kathy Wise and one from Judy Gale Roberts. And in their books, they had patterns, uh, beginning patterns. I got familiar with the process that way. When you buy a pattern from Judy Gale Roberts, she sends you a picture of a finished piece, what it's supposed to look like, which is really cool. And then she also sends the pattern. This pattern specifically is in red ink and it's really cool because she has recommended on here medium dark, medium light. Ours are risers, which means you add a piece below to make it stand up a little bit. Or you can use thicker wood right there. But anywho, she has a little key here talking about what all those things mean. Grain direction, see dark shade of wood, medium dark shade of wood stuff. And so that's really cool and helpful. But then there's also things that you can use. You can make your own pattern. I have a, a, a light table and I can trace like a photograph or something. You can use a coloring book or you can use stained glass patterns. So I went online and I found this stained glass pattern of this fish and it's free from Spectrum Glass. They have a bunch of patterns and I downloaded this and I'm going to make this into our intarsia. So that's how you go about getting a pattern. So just go out and find a pattern that you like and just start. All right, next time we'll talk about what we do with the pattern and the wood. All right, bye.